Hello, welcome back to Lenny's studio. So I'm going to do some flip cups, which I really like doing. So I'm going to put start it off with a little dab of white in it. And this blue, because I love the way the blue and the white interact. These are just colors that I've mixed up myself, so I can't really tell you what they are. They're, it's all craft paint. And um, what the colors were to begin with, I don't know, but I just mix them to the to the color that I want it to be, and that's what happens with it. Maybe I'll put this metallic blue in here because that's quite a pretty blue, and I'll empty that one out. That will be done, and mm, some gold. bit more of this blue. I don't know what this white paint over here is. I don't know what it is. I'm going to put a little bit of white paint in it too. Of this other color. It looks a little thicker. Is that enough? Mm, I'll put a dab of this in. Yeah. Alright. That's going to be it. And I have a little bit of this white. I'm going to here. No, that would have to go in the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this out into a ring pour. Hmm, that's pretty already. This is my favorite, my favorite way of painting. Unless I'm painting with a brush like horses or something like that, but I like for a pour style, I like this the best, better than anything else. I think I'm going to wreck this ring. Oh, that got some tails in it, but anyway, I'm going to wreck it. Just gives it a little bit different look. I'm not any good at making circles. I always do the sides when I pour like this to make sure it's covered and when it's dried it's all sucked up <laughs> the edges. So I'm trying to do it over the edges of the bottom. See if that helps. I think it will some. Okay, I love, 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 love this one. Okay, I'm going to keep that and let it dry. I don't think it has much paint left on it. I like those kind because you don't have to worry about them running. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the dried results.